How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? Of course. Uh, doing all right. How has your day been so far? It's been good. Just doing some some interviews, hanging out, hoping to get outside in Toronto later because it's been so sunny and I haven't been outside a lot lately. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful day. You should definitely get out there. Um, so what's a typical day in the life like for you? Yeah, good question. So I think uh, through this whole quarantine thing, I'll give you that kind of day because yeah. when the normal world's open, it's a bit different. But um, usually wake up, drink a big glass of water, try to like do some yoga or something, and then get to the task I had that day. So whether it's like go to the studio, um, do some interviews, or write some music, it's kind of different every single day. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'm right there with you with the big glass of water right when you wake up. Like, I just started doing that this year, and it's just, you do. <laughs> I just, it's like, I actually skip my coffee. I find, like, I just feel better. I don't know. Yeah, it's so wild. I, I think I've mentioned before in a few other interviews, but it's like, I've adopted so many different habits through this quarantine period, like drinking water, like working out a bit more, and even meditating, yeah. and it's so, this whole quarantine thing was a blessing, but a blessing and a curse, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Uh, talk to me a bit about your songwriting process. Songwriting process, I would say it's kind of like my daily routine. It varies uh, every day. Um, usually it's very spontaneous though. I'll have a lyric idea or a melody and I'll use my voice memo app um, and just like hum something into my phone or write down like a, an experience I'm going through on my phone. So then when I go to a session, I can kind of whip out that vault of ideas and concepts and then write a song but other times I'll sit down and write a song in its entirety in, in like half an hour so I haven't pinpointed how I can force a song out yet but I'm working on it wow an hour that's like pretty good <laughs> yeah I guess so but then I maybe won't write a song for a month so it's it's a bit all over the place but yeah creativity definitely comes in um waves ran yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> uh when did you start songwriting I wrote my first song when I was 12 years old. Um, so my my dad like uh, played guitar growing up, so I got him to teach me some chords. And then I just started writing when I was 12. And then through high school, I wrote more and more as I got better guitar and kind of just gained some more life experience to write about. And do you still have that first song you wrote? I do. Um, I have the concept. I don't have the exact song, but I... It's about like having a bad day and it's gray outside and it's very cheesy, but <laughs> gotta start somewhere. Absolutely, yeah. How has your career evolved and changed since uh, the launch? Yeah, it has, it's definitely evolved a lot. Um, I think the launch, well, no pun intended, it did really launch me kind of into this, um, this space where I got to meet some really incredible people, grow my team and kind of, signed with this label as well um so I've just grown so much both musically and I think personally through this whole time but the launch really gave me the platform to get my music out there and and get that music into the right hands of the right people and and listeners fantastic that's amazing uh congratulations to you on all of that thank you so um, much. and how has the pandemic affected your uh songwriting yeah, definitely. It's interesting. At the beginning of the pandemic, I think I put lots of pressure on myself to write. And because of that, I didn't end up writing for even probably two or three months. I just wasn't inspired. Mm -hmm. But then when I naturally kind of picked up the guitar and, and went to write, I, I got some good stuff. Just being with myself a lot and having so much time alone, I think I've had a lot of time with my thoughts, which is good and bad. <laughs> um, but being able to get that out kind of on, on paper has, has really helped me like mentally as well. What topics like have you been writing about? Like, uh, of course, like there's have, have been like your releases, but um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, of course you have your upcoming album. I guess I'm just curious what kind of topics are on there. Yeah, lots of, I think living in a social world. One of the songs is called Modern Love. Living in a social world, it's so interesting how that kind of just affects our relationships, whether it's romantically, whether it's platonically, or even with our family. It's just so interesting to see kind of technology play a role in that you know it's like when you put down your phone who are you you know what is your relationship if you're not posting photos and stuff like that so I really do explore mm -hmm. I guess the modern world and the modern kind of human experience through mostly romantic but it can 
I guess certain songs can mean things to different people. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that. Uh, congratulations on Who Could Say No? I really like it. Uh, tell me a bit about it and the production process. And yeah, song. for sure. So Who Could Say No is an empowering, upbeat pop song, which is a little different for me, but it was so fun to write kind of a really happy song. And I got to work with Boy Wanda and Yogi, the producer on this track, which is so incredible. And he's obviously a Grammy winner, which is just so inspiring to even be in the room with him. Um, but the song came to life around like midnight. We're in the studio. There's some um, like really cool studio lights. They're like they're blue, um, and I think the environment just inspired this really cool energy in the studio and inspired the song, which I'm super happy about. People seem to to really resonate with it. That's fantastic. And so this came to life at like midnight. So do you find you typically go into the studio like later at night or? Yeah, it depends. Sometimes, I mean, I also like to go to bed early, so it's, it's a trade-off. <laughs> but um, yeah, sometimes I'll have like a day session. Other times it's more of an evening session. In this case, we had been in the studio, I think we got there around 4 p.m. and we had just written some other ideas. And then I think we we're about to leave, but we're like, no, nah, let's just like hash out one more song idea. And then, so that's why this came to life. So it's, it's always very spontaneous depending on who you're with and, and just the vibe in general. Totally. Did you have the lyrics ready prior to going in studio or you wrote them at the studio? No, so this one was actually written um, from scratch with Tally and Mandy, this awesome, they're called Heartbeat, they're an amazing writing team. So we we just wrote from scratch, which I don't always do. So it was, it was a challenge, but it was really fun. Awesome. And did any artists inspire this track particularly? Yeah. I'd say I've definitely been loving like Dua Lipa's disco vibes. Um, so yeah. her, but Silk Sonic as well, been putting out some amazing stuff. I think in general, I've just been loving this rebirth of disco and, and 70s and, and 80s vibe for sure. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you have any plans for upcoming shows? Not right now, but um, in the works. I think just depending on the state of the world and what's going on. I would love to play shows, um, but we're still still figuring that one out. But when I can, I can't wait to play this album. Absolutely. If, if you were to play a live show, um, hypothetically, what would your dream lineup be? Lineup? Oh, that's so hard. Um, I think just for myself, I say, being able to see these people at the show, I'd love to have like Harry Styles there, um, Justin Bieber, um, probably Julie Michaels, Coldplay. Yeah, this, this, I listen to so many different bands, so it's hard to narrow down, but those are kind of my, my go-tos. That's a great lineup. <laughs> uh, and what is your style like for live shows in terms of fashion? So that's something I am, I think it's ever-changing. And with this new album, I think it's definitely evolving. So I'm, I'm really excited to play with some really bright, fun colors. And I used to always wear black because it goes with everything. <laughs> but I think the stylist I'm working with, um, Lynn Allison at LA, she's been really working with me and pushing me to, to explore some different things. So I, I can't wait to, to wear some fun things on stage. Great. Can't wait to see it. And how would you describe the sound of this upcoming album? I would say this album, it has a range of sounds. I think it starts um, with some like ballads and stuff on it. And then it evolves into some kind of bigger, more more full production sounding pop song. So I think there's something on this album for everything because there is that variety. So I'm, I'm excited about that. It's, it explores, I think, all the different sides of me as, as a person, as an artist. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. When is the album dropping? Thank you for having me. And uh, it's dropping July 9th, so it's it's coming up. I can't wait. Perfect. I can't wait either. And yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Of course. Thank you.